So I wanted to compare these two lifts. On the right is the Tuxedo Distributors, whatever that is. And the pictures show something that looks exactly like a handy lift. And on the left is an older model handy lift. Doesn't have the trap door. Uh, and it has an older style vise. But when I was looking at the pictures, they looked so similar. I thought that might be a handy lift in a generic fashion. Uh, I typically use handy lifts. They're made in the USA. They're great. This one somebody scrapped uh, 20 years ago. I was able to buy a couple of missing pieces for it and I still use it today. I have another one in my other shop. They're very good. That one there is a pro cycle. It's a little flimsy, um, but I bought it secondhand and it came with all the pieces, including the rails and the dolly. Uh, handy lifts were starting to get expensive and I was looking for alternatives. Now they uh, changed the design. They no longer have that air cylinder. They use an air bag. They're able to reduce costs so that they're a little more competitive. Um, this, and I'll have to show it to you when we get it out, looked to be like a clone of the original Handy. And look at the size of that crate. This lift, well, I'll tell you the price when we unpack it. We're going to compare it to the Handy lift. It's from, I got it from JP Cycles here in Daytona because I could pick it up but I didn't have to pay freight. I, I, I imagine freight is, is, is a lot because you need a forklift to move it. I was able barely to get it on these dollies and barely move it the way it sits. But I'm really impressed with the crate. If they crate it that well, I gotta think what they put in the design. And of course it's got air holes in it so any invasive species that are living inside when they pack it can escape. But anyway, let's see what this looks like. Now the original handy lift was made in the USA. I think they still are. There's some changes, as I said, on the newest model. This, um, that's their clamp from Tuxedo, also called Ideal. And uh, that clamp was like 86 bucks. It doesn't come with the bolts but the platform is pre-drilled. You don't have to drill anything, which is nice. The lift itself did not come with that air fill fitting. Other than that, it was ready to go. Just take it out of the box and hook it up. Well, it's funny about this, and I'm gonna raise them. Look at this. Look at the roller bearing. The shape of the arched leg. The weld. The taper. The taper here. The hole here for the strap. The hole here for the strap. The font that they use on the labels. The style of the labels. Let's see if they say the same thing. 
Center load on table 1,000 pounds. Center load on table 1,000 pounds. My gosh, they even have the same words. Same grease fitting. Now again, this is a newer model, so it has the trap door. Almost identical down here. Air cylinder, air cylinder. These were fifteen, seventeen hundred dollars a couple years ago. Don't know how much they are now because the new ones have the airbags. This one uh, was actually in a scrapyard. And I picked it up. I had to get, I think, an air valve and a ramp. Oh, they have the same stupid ramp set up. Handy changed this design. But these fingers are hard to weld straight to get to line up in those holes. So you either drill slightly larger holes or bend the tabs. They tend to fit, the ramp tends to fit the deck it was made for. But uh, in my opinion, and that's just an opinion, I think somebody shipped the handy lift to China and uh, they started making them there. Now it's funny, the box doesn't tell you they're made in China. There's nothing on the distributor's website, nothing on JP, but there's your disclosure. Made in China. So, yeah, I mean, it's worth $825. Even the seams are similar. And the roll. And the dimensions. Everything about it. Yeah, so operating the lift, it's totally uneventful. Of course, this isn't really much of a bike at all to test it. It's an 87 Yamaha YSR 50. I must have owned this for 10 or 15 years. It was hanging up in display in my friend's shop on a shelf for a long time. And uh, I finally took it back. Unfortunately, he never even bothered to drain the gas out of it. So I've got to go over it all over again. All right. That'll be finished and ready probably in the next day or two. But for the lift, what more can I say? $825 more if you can't pick it up at the shop. Now, I'm, I'm not getting paid for these recommendations. I'm not even recommending it. I'm just comparing it to the one right next to it. It's amazing how similar they are, and purposely so. And that's it from Bullpen Cycles. Say goodbye, Inga.